Hi, I'm Terry from Wakanda Boats here in Glen Elder, Kansas and Republican City, Nebraska. We're going to do a quick walkthrough here on the new 2017 Lund 2175 Pro V Sport. I'll point out all the features of the boat and, and show you how all ours in stock will be set up. To give you a quick overview on this boat, they, they changed the big Pro V last year, the 2075, they, re, they redesigned that and they added this one along the same design to, that, to, the, to the lineup. So this is the biggest you can get in the Pro-B series at 21 feet and 10 inches in length. And they also made the boat wider than they used to be by several inches. So it's a full 102 inches wide now. It's really got a lot of room in it. It's as wide as they can build them. And uh, a lot of the feedback I used to get from, from customers with the older 2075 Pro-Bs is what they wanted a little bit smaller bow and a little bit more room in the cockpit. Well, the, the Pro-Vs are known for that big spacious bow, so they didn't take any of that away, but, the, but when you compare this to the 2075, that whole extra feet of length is all behind the windshield. It's, it's all in the cockpit, so there's just a ton of room in this boat, and uh, you'll see that when we get inside the boat. But uh, anyway, to, to start off on the outside here, like all of our Pro-Vs and crossovers and, and tidies, all ours are going to have what's called the custom upgraded bunk trailer option. And, uh, and technically the 21 Pro-V only, it's a standard feature this trailer is, but any other like the 20 Pro-V or any tie, it is an option you have to upgrade it. But what that gives you is the nicer fenders, it's diamond plate fenders, and it gives you nicer mag wheels, and it comes standard with a spare tire with that as well, and it also the biggest thing is the, the Lund Armor paint job. It's got a rough, rough texture, it's, it's a really gravel pit resistant. And one thing they did add to it this year, just for 2017, is they added a second coat to that paint. So it's even heavier duty than it used to be, which is good. It'll, it'll last that much longer against, against uh, rock, rock chips and whatnot. And another thing they changed on it, which it comes standard with the roller guides, is last year these were a little shorter. They, they ended up extending them this year as well. Um, at the back of the boat, one standard feature here is what they call the rescue ladder, and you can see right now it's stowed away and it's recessed inside the gunnel, so it's not taken up or hanging up on anything, it's not taking up any room. It comes out, and it's just a nice handy three-step ladder that's always there. It's really, as much as anything, it's a safety feature for anybody that might fall overboard or you're not, not real young and agile anymore, it's just a way to get back into the boat. All ours in stock are going to be max horsepower, which will be with the 350 Verado. It seems everybody was ordering them that way, so all ours in stock will have that will have that motor on it. Uh, the Verado engine, we really have nothing but great things to say about it. It's, we've had good luck with it. It runs runs very well, and uh, so all ours are going to have that with the 21 pitch Tempest stainless steel prop on it. You can order it with the 300 if you wanted to. Uh, most people, however, I think the go-to motor on this will be the 350. Now when you get on the Verados, anything 225 and larger, they're going to have a standard power steering pump as well, so that's a nice feature. You can literally steer this, this boat with one finger. And uh, because of that power steering pump, we do go ahead and have Lund put their kicker pre-rig option on it. So the controls and everything up there are mounted for, the, for a kicker as well. So if you want to put a kicker on it, all we have to do is set it on there and plug it in. It's really easy. Most guys buying this boat are going to want a kicker motor anyway. And, and, and the reason for doing that, we don't put it on there. It's, it's easier for us to have Lund do it because of all the extra components that come with it for that, for that power steering pump to work. Most guys are going to want to put a 15 horsepower kicker on this as well just because of that power steering. The 9.9s don't charge back to the battery near as much as the 15 does. And so if you put a 9.9 on here, eventually you're going to run the batteries weak. And uh, so the 15s, we started putting mostly 15s on all these and we've, we've uh, had a lot better luck with that. Now as we get inside the boat, and I'll start here at the back of the boat, you'll see this fixture right here and that's for the, the, the uh, Skeeto pylon. The hardware is already standardly installed from Lund on, the, on these boats now. The pylon doesn't come with it, but if you want the pylon all we have to do is order it and it drops right in place. Uh, and I'll start also here on the starboard side, there's a large compartment here. They do put the power steering pump in there, but there's still a lot of room around that to put whatever you'd want. There's so much storage in this boat. And then the, it has a very large uh, aft live well. It's 51 inches long. Of course, there's a light in there. It's their Prolong 2 Plus live well. It's the best live well system they offer. Uh, very large live well. has a divider. You could put bait on one side if you wanted to, or a different species on one side. And there's a second door to it, 
to, to it too, which uh, you can drop a, a minnow bucket in to keep your live bait in the back. And then here you'll see, uh, of course, you put one of your pedestal seats moves back here. You have a nice size casting deck here in the back. Now on a standard Pro-V, that casting deck is only going to be right here. It's going to stop right here. Now we add what's called the aft storage option, which gives you this extra compartment here and uh, extends your casting deck by about six inches. And especially on this boat where you got so much room back here in the cockpit, it's not hurting anything. There's, there's plenty of room back here. It's not taking up too much space in the boat. And so the first thing that does is it extends your casting deck that much more. And also it gives you a, a storage underneath here as well. So you get, it gives you these extra tackle trays. That's how it's going to come. You could take these out if you wanted to put something else in there. But all ours in stock is going to have this aft storage option. And then down below here is where your cranking battery stores or, or is going to be stored. Now, assuming you put a kicker on this, most people do, you're going to have two batteries down there, and there's a place for both of them. So it's a nice place to keep your cranking batteries. They're not taking up room anywhere else in the boat. And another option that all ours in stock will have is what's called the snap-out carpet option. And all that is, it's a, just a vinyl floor underneath, a vinyl main floor, they call it. And we put the snap carpet up above it, and, and it, just, it's, it removes all the way out for easy cleanup. It's a nice feature to have, and all ours will have that in stock. On the starboard side here is another large compartment that's lockable as well. Uh, there's a place back in here for your, for your anchor light to go, and it goes quite a ways back. So there's a lot of storage here, so you can put your life jackets, whatever you want to put there. And then over on the port side, I'll start with the top gunnel storage. This is also lockable. It's a nice, nice handy place to put stuff. You could put your fenders in there, marker buoys. Uh, you could put extra rods in there if you're just for quick storage on the go. Uh, whatever you put in there is bound to get a little bit wet. It's not exactly dry storage and, and everything that, it, it does drain however. There's a drain here at the bottom and that drains to the outside of the boat. And then on the on the side here as well, on the port side, you have uh, these pull-out drawers, and they now come with these tackle boxes as well. And there's nothing saying you can't take these these uh, tackle boxes out of there and put other stuff in there, but this is how it's going to come. So it's a nice feature to keep all your lures together and, and very accessible, handy to get to. And on the port side console here, you have a large, large size glove box. And everything on this boat, for the most part, is lockable as well. Uh, underneath, on both consoles, you have a, what's the pull-out drawers. Nice, nice feature. You don't have to get down on your hands and knees and dig into a compartment anymore. You can pull everything out right to you. It's easy to get to. And uh, since I'm here, I'll go ahead and talk about the sport track system as well. Uh, a lot of you have probably already seen this, but it, almost any Lund's going to have it. And it's this track system that runs inside the hole inside of the boat. And uh, you mount these, these uh, brackets on them, and you can mount your rod holders to these. So you mount your rod holder base on here, and it slides. It's not stuck in one place. And uh, you don't have to put any holes in the boat either. So not only just rod holders, you can put uh, tackle trays mount on here. There's like a little tool kit you can get to screw onto there, cup holders, whatever you can think of really. but but it minimizes the amount of holes you're putting in the boat. And then here at the dash, a very nice dash, good looking dash. Up on top you can see there's plenty of room there to put two big graphs if you wanted to put the big big depth finders. Uh, all ours in stock are going to have what's called the uh, smart craft gauges and what that really gives you basically is this little digital box, box and that uh, tells you more information on the motor as far as engine hours and you know, vol uh, battery volts and, and fuel consumption, etc. Uh, another thing they changed on them is they, they added the kicker stereo, or they, they used a different brand in the past, the Infinities. Uh, they went to these kicker brands. Kicker's a very well known brand. Uh, does the same features basically. You can Bluetooth it to your cell phone, and then down here you can see this place for a USB port or an MP3 jack as well. And uh, it looks a little better on the dash as well. All your uh, switches are not right here and nice and easy to get to. Everything's ran off this master power like before. 
even your depth finders will we'll wire them up to where everything's going to be wired right into this master power. So as long as you flip that off, you really don't have to worry about having left something on to run your battery down either. Uh, you have a nice storage compartment kind of right here, easy to get to. Uh, another one's down up underneath here. <coughs> your controls for the main engine is, is in a convenient spot here on the side and the ones back here this is for your kicker motor assuming you do put a kicker on it tilt steering and then also I'll show you this they added this uh, ruler too, a 33 inch ruler it's, it's in a handy spot it's kind of a neat little feature and then your main rod box Convenient way to get your rods in and out, holds up to 15 rods. And then when you put your bow mount trolling motor on there, which most of you will, uh, all your, your battery storage for that goes up underneath the rods. This compartment here lifts up, and, and there's battery trays back up under there for that. So it's a good place to disperse the weight for your, for your batteries, and your, your onboard charger for those goes down in here as well. And it's, just a, it's, a, it's a good spot to put them because you're not always going to be needing to get to those. and, and uh, you're not taking up storage anywhere else in the boat. <clears throat> and again, these, these uh, Pro V's are known to have a large, large bow, and they do. There's a lot of room up here to fish off of. And uh, I'll start with the front on the starboard side here in the floor is your bow live well. It's really a, it's a big, it's a pretty big live well for a bow live well. Uh, I want to say it's 12 gallons. Of course, there's a light like the back one, and it's aerated. Now this here is an option we put with ours. You wouldn't have to get it, but all ours in stock will have it. It's, it's inexpensive, and so we just put them on there. It's been a popular option. It's called the bow bait well option, and that just drains down into the bow live well, but it's just an aerated place to keep minnows alive, and uh, ours in stock will have that. And now your main, uh, main storage compartments are on the front on both sides. Again, lockable compartments but they're very big. You can see you can put a lot of stuff on either side here. Uh, you'll notice on this side we have the travel cover as well. All ours in stock are going to have that travel cover. Uh, they're, they're, they're a better cover than they used to be. They don't use snaps anymore for what you might be used to. You don't have to prop up, you don't have to crawl in the boat and put poles up anymore. Uh, it's, it's a lot more convenient to put these covers on and they travel a lot better. They just use a little clip system that goes into the track that runs on the outside of the boat. And uh, they're, just, they're just an all around a lot better deal. <coughs> Another thing I want to point out too is anything in these bow, bow storage compartments is going to remain very dry. They got what's called an advanced water control system and, and everything is integrated together. All these compartments up here, all this water is going to travel down these channels and they're all diverted into these uh, drains here which go to the outside of the boat and or they'll go down to the cockpit of the boat. So it's not going to be, nothing you put up here should get wet at all. <coughs> And then on the on the port side on the on the bow, you have this compartment here. It looks like another live well, but it's not. That's a cooler. It's an insulated cooler, and uh, it's a nice place to you can th throw a bag of ice in there and keep your beverages or whatever you want to keep cold, cold. And then you have another compartment here. It's kind of like a uh, glove box for the guy up front. Just another compartment in the front of the console here. And then you have a couple cup holders here, and these slots here are meant for your needle nose pliers to go in. And of course on both sides they have the bow cargo net. It's a nice place to throw whatever you want to put in there that you're just that you're needing in a hurry or whatnot. Uh, the very front of the boat also has a lot of storage up here. Just a ton of storage in these boats. Uh, I, I think I pretty much covered everything. If I missed anything, please give us a call. Our phone numbers and emails are on our website, wakandaboats.com. Uh, I'm Terry here in Glen Elder, Kansas, and my brother Travis is up at our Republican City, Nebraska store. Uh, call either one of us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.